Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to design a professional Shopify store which is going to be responsive and attractive to whoever um, search the store on Shopify. So the first thing right now is look straight to my screen. I am currently on my Shopify account here. In the name of my store, as you have watched in my previous video, I designed a logo for my store which is Omi Orb. Um, right now, I'm going to teach you guys how to design the store. So the first thing right now is this Shopify, the Shopify website link is going to be in my video description as well as um, CJ, CJ Dropshipping is going to be in my video description as well. CJ Dropshipping is the website I personally use most times to dropship product to my clients website as well as my own personal store. So the next thing now is to click on this thing and before I dive right into today's tutorial, guys, I need your assistance and support on on this one thing. It's going to cost you just five seconds. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment in the comment section below. Once you are done, comment section below, drop that, drop your store link there. I will check the amazing work you did and how you implemented the the tutorial from this video. So guys, the next thing now, I'm currently on my uh, account dashboard and I'm currently on I'm currently on my account dashboard right here and I'm, on, I'm in the back end of the store. So the next thing I want to do now is to click on online store. Sorry about the glitch for a while guys and sorry about that but nevertheless, let's go. So guys, uh, after clicking on this thing, once you click on the option team, then you wait for it to do. And mind you, I have a team personally that I use. Okay, sorry about that. Personally use to design my fire store and personally my own store. There are other options here to use. As you can see, there are free options in here. But mind you, you have to upgrade your Shopify account. As you can see, guys, the team I'm using right now is Motion. The motion thing is sold, I think, I don't know the current price right now, but the time I bought it, which is around the last year, November, I bought it on $300 on Shopify. So this motion theme right here, I'm ready to give it out to any whoever that is interested to it, to at the rate of $200. Message me now on YouTube via my uh, Linktree link right here. Message me on my social media account. And tell me, hey, hey, questionnaire, I need this motion team you are using to design your own personal store. So just tell me that I will respond as soon as I can and let's get things going. So, guys, let me click on this button right here, is customized. Let's get started, guys. So, guys, uh, you have to wait for a while for it to load. I'm actually editing this, uh, this project currently. I've already started it. Few a um, few minutes ago, I have a challenge, so I have to cut off everything and start from the beginning, guys. I'm very, very sorry. You are meeting everything already designed. You'll be thinking, how will I understand this? And you may be thinking, I, I need to go to another video, but don't worry, guys. I got your back. So the first thing I did is I click on this first menu here. Once I click on this first menu, I click on this option here, guys. There are so many options here logo left menu left logo left menu center logo left menu down uh, downward logo center menu left logo center menu below logo center menu downward so now i click on let me just click on another option keep looking at this screen guys as you can see guys that option the uh the way the store appeared before change now so now I'm going to click on another option. I'm going to click on this option. As you can see, there is some other features in this option. And if I scroll down again, I click on this last option. As you can see, this is how my to look like if I click on this last option. But guys, I kind of like uh, my logo to be by the side as well as I like this specific one. I like this specific one, but you might be like, okay, why would you pick such a thing? Okay, let me just use this one that I felt is much more okay. Why uh, this contact section, home section, everything is like this side, the left hand side of my store. And uh, what else do I do? Yeah, I scroll down, scroll down, down here, guys. Once you scroll down here, you, you could 
be able to edit as you can see guys announcement text that's why i highlighted it for you to see it again announcement text click on announcement text whatever you want your store your your audience to see the first thing when they get to your store like for example uh i want to just add the dollar right here just for you to see to display on the screen as you can see guys it's displaying on the screen right now so i've removed the dollar i added just now then if you want to add your social media account via these uh um, these options are both here you just click on this uh this option here team settings once you drop down you'll be you'll be given an option to add your social media links here. right now I, I am not copying any link right now i just want to explain that section to you guys and once you are done editing this aspect click on save once click on save wait for a while for it to save after being after it is as you can see changes saved guys so the next section is this section right here i already edited it earlier but i will try as much as i can to explain again in this video so the first thing you have to do right here is the headings find the good headings for what you want to sell in this store i want to sell clothes and which type of clothes specifically t-shirts and caps caps because we are now in summer and it's going to be very very hot shortly so we have to cover our head with the cap and we need a very very light and very very good t-shirt because most times nobody's going to buy um, pajamas or or a sweater or anything like that currently in summer i don't know whatever season is over there but currently here where i am it is summer and it's getting hot every day so that's why i want to put it forward to the audience i have here that i have a store they can get what they are going to shops to get you can also get here online and they'll get it delivered to them within the duration of five to seven days so uh through the use of dro um, cj drop shipping so i i'm going to change this uh i already changed this is the call to action this is the call to action on this banner section which is uh order now i use the call to action order now and if you want to change it you can change it there and if you want to change this, the location of this button for example if i click on center this button will move down to the center here okay yes okay 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 yes 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 as you can see guys the button all these buttons both the headings and the order now button move to the center but i want to change it back to center right yes so center right is back to center right now guys okay okay it's by this side <laughs> i'm just trying out this option so that you guys can see how it goes this is where i selected the, um my image and now i'm going to go back so uh the button i think the button is back to where it was earlier yes the button is back to where it was earlier guys so the next thing is you're going to click on a image you're going to add the image you can. i actually got this image from sorry guys i got the image from unsplash.com i screw down after searching for as you can see i searched for cup, uh, caps and t-shirt banner so i screwed up i went up i went down i got the image from this place i click on download immediately i download i save then i will use it in my store as well so uh, as you can see the image of the young young boy i used it is and uh, I'm going to go back to my store now right here so um, I'm actually done with everything now I'm done with everything now uh, so once you are done with everything you click on save as well as I said as I said earlier so after clicking on save then you go back to slide so as you can see there are two options of slideshow here as you can see I had a slideshow and if you want to add a new slide you just click on add add as you can see you just click on this add slide once you want to remove the hard slide you can just click on this button it's just like um closing the eyes of the <laughs> of the slide and it will display again on the screen as you can see it's just going to be these two slides that will display on the screen guys so uh i want to add a logo now i'm going to click on logo section i want to add a logo of my store so so guys and i know this uh logo might be a little bit big but this is how i want it to be um i'm going to click on save so after clicking on save there thereby i will go to change whether i could reduce the size of the logo okay okay don't worry don't worry don't worry guys this is just an example this is not really how i will let the store be 
So I want to change this header so that this uh, logo will be by size so that it won't look, you know, looks abnormal and it's going to look okay. So uh, I actually changed it. So I think this is a little bit good now. So uh, after doing that, this slideshow, you understand how I did it. And uh, once you click on the slideshow, how you're going to edit the content and the header and everything, I already explained it there. You upload your image here and as well as, I'm going to go back now. I'm going to scroll down this section here right here is the uh, okay this section right here is the collection list this is the collection list i'm going to i'm going to edit it now in this video i'm going to explain to you guys how to do it and uh, once you click on collection list this collection list once you click on it wait for a while it's going to show some options here guys so guys it's showing some options here it's showing headings heading and show show selections divider add spacing so i'm going to click on both so this is how it's going to look when i click on both guys as you can see it's it's kind of okay like this so the edits i want to add is um child um, children's wear so i'm going to type children's wear here now sorry okay children's children's wear so guys, I already had um, the content children's wear in the editing. Then I'm going to click on save but again. You must save everything you do on this store. You must save. But this store right now is a free trial store. I just want to use for like three days to explain everything about Shopify store design. And probably I will try to cover it in just two, three videos. Then boom, you'll be able to design your own personal Shopify store successfully in 2023. So guys, uh, after that, I want to add images to this, to this thing is right here. The first image here is uh, accessories. So I want to click on change, then change collection. Okay, for example, for example, now I want to click on change collection. Thereafter, after clicking on change collection, I'm going to create a new collection. So this is whereby uh, this is a place whereby our product is start coming in and showing off where they are, where they are meant to be. So thereafter, as you can see, guys, I have just three days trial, just three days trial to do this training before this is unusable again. So I'm going to click on um, children's wear. I'm going to add children's wear here. Children's wear.